Thomas Marlon back then, pre Accrington Stanley at home. Marlon back from suspension and obviously presumably pretty relieved to be available again. Yeah, um, you know, I'm back, I'm raring to go now, um, four games left. Um, still a lot to play for and you know, it's uh, come to the business end of the season now. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm relieved to be back and um, still raring to go. How frustrating was it getting banned again? Because I know you were pretty, you know, sort of down about picking up the first band for the five bookings. Yeah, um, you know, I kind of went for a good spell of, um, I kind of um, maintained it and it was a bit more stronger and yeah, a bit more um, kind of clever in the way I'd go about um, it on the field. And then obviously recently I kind of, uh, I can't think of maybe a bit of frustration kicked in and you know, I was, it was down to my own downfall really getting the two bookings. So, um, yeah, so it happens in football. I'm, I'm still young and still learning, but um, yeah, definitely it's not a good thing for a professional footballer to you know, be sitting in the stands because you know, I think uh, sitting in the stands I was you know, more nervous in the stands watching than I, I was playing. But um, yeah, obviously I don't know a player wants to go through suspensions, injuries or whatnot because um, you know, missing out on doing what you love. But watching in the stands, is there anything you've been able to pick up and notice that I don't know, perhaps the gaffer's been saying, you know, I want you to do this sort of thing at certain times in games? I think um, from the stands, um, sometimes you kind of get a bit of you. You know, you're up there um, at a different angle watching it at, at you know, a different level. And I think you do see th things sometimes, some, sometimes better, um, especially me taking a seat back, not being being involved, obviously you're still part of the team, you know, but, you know, kind of watching it and you know, watching things and you kind of pick up on the small things. So, yeah, you do notice things a bit more. Um, but, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's still frustrating not playing. Um, I don't want to be in the stands really ever again. But um, uh, hopefully this is a learning club, one of many that I'm sure I'll go through throughout my career. I'm sure you, you wouldn't admit to being tired, but could a rest be useful just, you know, really freshening up for the last four games? Um, yeah, I'm, you know, I can't. Obviously, it's been a chance to, not the way I'd want to do it, but it's been a chance to recharge my batteries. Um, you know, I think um, for the suspensions, you know, I think I played the most games throughout the team. So, um, yeah, you know, it, it's been a break, um, obviously, which that I didn't want. But, you know, if you're going to have a try to look out for positives, you know, it should be me means I'll be around, um, be fresh and for these the next four games at the end of the season. So, four games to go. How do you see it? And um, obviously we want to pick maximum points up. Um, we've got we've got to do our all now. We're like it's not we've worked hard all season. There's no been there's not been um, any question about that. Um, you know, the results have been great. Um, haven't been great come you know, the start of the year, but um, so we're still in a half decent position. Not the not the position that we wanted to be in, but still um, got a chance of getting promotion. So um, you know we'll knuckle down. Got um, some four games that you know they're all winnable. So um yeah we 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 want to go we want to get 12 points um and just see where we end up John finish as high up as possible. And Mark's played a diamond formation in midfield for the last couple of home games. How's that adjusting having played what 4-3-3 three, three for so much of the season? Um for me personally I've um I kind of grew up especially from a youth team and reserve team I grew up on the kind of diamond formation at Portsmouth um I was always in the deeper role so you know, I kind of adjust to that and I customised to it quite easily because I think for me it's, it's a good position personally because you know it allows me to come and get the ball and kind of play that anchor role and you know, try and set up attacks and start moves. So um, yeah, I, it's not a problem for me. Um, you know, we, after we got for the personnel we got, we can play a few formations as as we have done all season. And Accrington, you won one nil away earlier in the season at their place, but obviously they've had a, a change of manager. Would you still expect them to play pretty much the same way that they always have done? Yeah, um, they're always a tough tough team to play against. Um, you know, I played them three times, and they never give you a never give you an easy game. And you know, when we played them at their place, um, we had to really work hard for for the victory. Um, you know, we won one nil, but we were under the cost of most of the game. Um, so um, yeah, like you said, you don't get no easy games in this league, um, especially against an Accrington Stanley side that you know always work hard and you know always give their all. So um, you know, it's not going to be easy, but you know, we're confident that we'll get the three points. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers. Well, do you think uh, teams have been targeting you um, in that deeper role because obviously you've got nominated for Player of the Year and you've been getting good reviews and the team's been doing well? Do you think second half of the season you've maybe got a bit more attention than you did at the first? Yeah, um, you, you kind of notice it anyway. Um, I played against a few teams really where it's kind of been a man, you know, stuck to me. And 
but obviously that's that's kind of a credit to me and you know how how I've gone about m my business this year. Um, it's a bit annoying trying to shake someone off, but you know that happens in football. Um, you know, it's p part of you to try and um, find ways around it, and you know I've got to try and get on the ball no matter what. Yeah, a good test and, a, and maybe some, you know slightly adapt your game, which is always going to help, isn't it, to add an extra dimension to it? Yeah, um, you can't always. You don't get always get it the, the way you want in football. You got to work around things, and there's going to be obstacles as we've um, found out this season. But um, it, like I said, it's always going to be a test, and I'm learning, and I've got to. You know, if there's someone going to be on me, I've got to find a way to get get on the ball and make things happen. Yeah, you mentioned learning from your, the last couple of bookings, and it's easy to say you know you're not going to get involved in anything like that. But when things aren't going well, it's you know, it's hard not to get frustrated. Isn't it? It's just a case of maybe taking a deep breath before you yeah, say um, anything. Yeah, obviously. Um, it is frustrating, but you've got to kind of be a bit mentally tough at times and be act a bit more professional. And you know, sometimes I think I've let it got the better of me. Um, you know, not often, not too many times, but there's been times where you know frustration has got the better of me. Um, but you know, you're, I'm only human. You know, you, you get you get frustrated. Everyone does, so, um, you know, especially when things ain't going your way. So um, they're just obviously it's not a good thing, but you know, it just shows probably shows my passion and shows how much I care about um, this club and trying to do well. Yeah, and I think your tackling must have improved because I think the first five bookings that you picked up very quickly, were, I think they were all for challenges, weren't they? Yeah. So you haven't been getting done for that too much. No, um, yeah, I'm not the best at tackling. There's a bit of a poor skulls tackler, really. But um, yeah, I, I try and I won't shy, shy away from the tackle. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how you can improve that, really. Um, I think you're just born as a good tackler, and I'm certainly not one. But uh, hopefully, I'll get a few decent challenges and without um, receiving any yellow cards. Yeah.